Hello and welcome to our daily news bulletin straight up by edX Life. Here we give you the most important education update of the day. International students studying in Canada, including those from India, will be able to work off campus for up to 24 hours per week only, starting in September. This was recently announced by the Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship of Australia, Mark Miller. The minister said, and I quote, this fall, we intend to change the number of hours students may work off campus per week to 24 hours. End quote. In addition, Miller further mentioned that allowing students to work up to 24 hours per week will ensure their focus primarily on their studies while having the option to work if necessary. What could be the impact of this decision on Indian students? Let us hear it from Saurabh Arora, CEO of University Living, a global student housing managed marketplace. Uh, definitely not a welcome move. Uh, this will definitely put uh, financial strains uh, to international students, especially Indian and Indian subcontinent students, which generally go abroad, you know, uh, not only to earn degree, but also to earn relevant experience or they want to work and earn their part time jobs, uh, part time and extra, you know, pocket money or side income. Uh, so this will definitely, you know, uh, will uh, impact most of the international students, especially Indian students. So, you know, as I mentioned, not everyone want to work just to earn money. You know, in fact, the purpose of getting a degree or or skills is to, you know, is to learn on the job or by to doing whatever you're learning uh, in the class. If you're not able to practice outside and don't develop your skills, then again, what's the use? So again, with limited number of uh, uh, working hours, it will impact uh, the current lot. Uh, then, you know, as I mentioned, this will definitely increase stress and, uh, you know, pressure because, uh, see, not everyone can or want to be uh, sponsored by their parents or their family. You know, in fact, uh, there's a myth that most of international students, Indian students, they go abroad to just to earn extra income and to, you know, to, to do part time. But no, you know, it gives you that sir, respect when you earn, when you do part time, you know, when you do work, you know, you earn that it gives so much respect, self respect and confidence, you know, and that also put people to, you know, learn more to, to push them some more because money is a driving point. And if you don't work, how will it uh, earn money? And so again, not a very welcome move. And the last but not the least, uh, it will definitely impact the volume of uh, students flowing to the country. Uh, it might be, you know, uh, uh, planned in such a way, you know, wherein they don't, they want to discourage international students to come into their shop. Uh, but again, a very uh, short term approach rather than long term approach because it takes 5-10 years to earn a reputation for a destination country. You know, and by doing this, this is definitely, you know, not adding to their narrative of, you know, they are very welcoming. Uh, a country and they want to support international students they are they are enough working opportunities i understand all this happening because of geopolitical you know there's election here in canada but if you see from international students not a welcome mood and someone like me who's into this for almost 12 years we have seen cycles but trust me whenever such moves comes it takes it do more harm and it takes more more time than they believe it will take time to rebound but what does research say about this? Recent studies conducted in United States and Canada have shown that there is a considerable decline in academic performance for students working more than 28 hours per week and that working more than 24 hours per week increases the chances that a student will drop out of their program. That's all we have for you today. My name is Siddhi Zozare and for more such education-related news, stay tuned to edX Live. But wait! Here's another point. It may be noted that students who already started these kinds of programs before May 15, 2024 will still be able to access a post-graduation work permit provided they meet all other criteria the release said. See you in another news update tomorrow. Till then, stay hydrated and stay safe.